What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Mike, the businessman. Thank you very much for tapping in. And it's 2023, y'all. And I know, guys, new year, new resolutions, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys have tapped into this channel because you're curious about trying to find an extra source of income for 2023, be it, be it a full-time gig that you guys could do and actually make a living out of, or you guys already have a nine to five and you're looking for a passive source of income. But guess what, guys? You've tapped into the right video and I'm excited to talk to you guys about private car rentals or actually renting out that car that you have sitting in your driveway. Okay, did you guys know that you could turn that liability that's sitting in there and every month you gotta make car note payments and insurance payments, you could actually leverage that, that four-wheel monster and actually make a profit on it every month you could actually put that car to work for you while you're doing your nine to five and it could bring you a sustainable and steady income and there's several ways to do this okay some people get into the car rental business because they just want to drive a fancy car for free okay did you know you could do that you could actually there are platforms out there where if you're traveling you could park a car at an airport and, and and while you're away the car gets rented out for you and you come back in and you once you fly back into your city the car's back waiting for you at the airport and you've earned some income while you were away. Or perhaps maybe, you know, every few days out of the week, you want to rent, you don't mind renting the car out to somebody and earning some extra income for maybe a couple hundred bucks. Or if it's a higher expensive car, it could add up to a few thousand a month. And that way your car note is completely taken care of. You could actually do that in the car rental business. Okay. There are car sharing apps out there that could do that. Or if you maybe you have multiple cars and you have an economy car that you're hardly using, you could actually rent that car out using ride sharing apps that you could actually target Uber, DoorDash, Lyft drivers, gig economy workers, and they will happily rent that car out for you, paying you a couple of 50, 60, 70 dollars a day. And some of these guys will keep this car for almost a whole entire year renting this car from you, earning you income. This is a car you weren't even really using. Okay, so those are just some of the opportunities that you could tap into the car rental business, okay? So guys, in 2023, if you're looking for a semi-passive or you're looking for a full-time gig, look no further than the car rental business. So let's jump right into it, guys. So let's talk Let's talk about the first situation, right? So you guys want to actually, maybe you want to, um. You want to start up a, a car rental business, but you don't want to do it full time. Maybe you just want to do this just to be able to pay, pay car, make payments on your car, right? You want to drive that nice BMW, that nice Range Rover, um, and you want help making the payments every month. Well, guess what? There's an app out there called Turo, okay? T-U-R-O. You can actually sign up for Turo as a host. You can list your car on this platform, and basically, Turo advertises to everybody in the country, and then you're gonna your phone will start blowing up with renters. It's almost like the Airbnb for cars, okay? Renters will reach you, will reach out to you, looking to rent your vehicle, and depending on 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 the, on the kind of car you have. You could charge anywhere from $20, $30 a day to several hundreds of thousands of dollars a day for your vehicle, okay? Once you go on the app and you put in the information on your car, it'll give you, you can kind of see the comps. Just like in real estate, you see comps of similar vehicles, makes and make models in years, and see how much other people in your area are charging for a similar vehicle, and you could charge some of the same thing too. And you could rent that car out just a few days out of the month, enough to make your payment, and then you stop, you can switch it off. And then guess what? you have a car for free in the, you can essentially drive your car the rest of the month for free and, and somebody else has helped you make that car payment okay i know people out there that own expensive cars they buy a lambo and rent it out on the platform like Turo just two or three times and that pays a note on the car and they get to drive a car a lambo for free okay so that's one strategy okay or a second strategy, you actually see the potential in this and you want to make this full time or you want to make it semi passive for yourself. You want to be able to make at least six figures a year. That's good. That's a good supplemental income. OK, there's several strategies to it. OK, so you could do economy cars. I love this play. You can get a bunch of economy cars and you can rent these out. These economy cars can make you a minimum of a thousand dollars a month. OK, if you run the play right. Um, and we teach all of that in our academy, how to run the economy car play well to where you're making a minimum of a thousand dollars a month per car. You do that and it's a matter of scale. How many economy cars can you buy? You have, you get 10 economy cars, you're getting $10,000 minimum per month, okay? Um, and then you rent these cars out to, to, to gig economy workers, like I mentioned, or students, or I have people that just work, regular people that work nine to five jobs, but they don't have a car. Maybe they can't qualify for a car. They're, 
countless reasons why people rent vehicles. Just because you don't think you, you would never do it yourself doesn't mean somebody else won't, okay? I have several economy cars. All of my economy cars are gone. I haven't seen them in almost a month and a half. And, and pretty much, that's pretty, that's the way it is. These cars would be gone. You would never see them anymore. Um, you could always rent, you could rent them through apps like Hire Car. So there's an app out there called Hire Car, H-Y-R-E-C-A-R. -E um, that would get you in, the, in, in front of gig economy workers that want your car um, and they want them for long-term rentals, okay? Um, there's another app out there called Get Around, G-E-T-A-R-O-U-N-D. Once again, Get Around is kind of like Hire Car too, and they will also target gig economy workers, the people that want to rent your car long term. So those are two good apps that are great for economy cars, and then you could have these cars gone, earning you an income, okay? Um, you could also use Turo. Turo also works, but Turo isn't mostly targeted towards long-term rentals. Um, it's more shorter term, but you can still get some long-term rentals out of it. So I, find your mix. Me personally, I love renting B2B, so business to business, or I like doing what I call private car rentals, okay? So pretty much I rent direct to customer, okay? And that's what, a lot of, that's what we teach in our academy. We teach people how to do that. We also teach you how to leverage those apps, but the thing with the apps is they take a percentage of your profit, just like Airbnb. They will take a percentage anywhere from 10% to 40% of your rental revenue, okay? I personally, I want 100% of my money, okay? So I like to rent direct to customer, and we teach people how to do that properly in the right way and do it safely, most importantly, okay? And how to do it in a way that your phone is ringing, not you chasing after people. People call you to rent your vehicles, okay? Um, so when you rent these out directly to these people, the economy cars, they're gone. They're gone and you don't see them. And all you have to do is collect your money. Either I, I don't do daily rentals on my economies. I do only weekly or monthly rentals. And I just need to wait to collect my money weekly or monthly. Um, and, and that's it pretty much. So that's the economy car play. You could also get luxury cars. You can get exotic cars and also run the same plays. You could either leverage an app like Turo, put your cars on that platform. And the good thing about using apps like Turo, I call them the training wheels phase, okay? These apps, they're, they're, they're dummy proof, so to speak, right? You, you, they walk you through setup. They, they help you with insurance. They're the ones doing all the marketing for you. So pretty much all you do is sit back and your phone beeps and you have whenever they, you have a renter and you just need to click accept or deny, decline. And that's it. You need to make sure your car is prepared and ready to go meet the renter. That's all you'd have to do. They make it as foolproof as possible, okay? Um, so these apps are very good and, and that's why they, they charge what they charge. Um, now, where I have issues, and that's a whole another video, is sometimes they throw in a lot of trip fees and all kinds of stuff, and they end up making more money than you. That's a that's a that's a video for another day. But you guys can start off with these apps, get your feet wet, understand how running car rentals work, and then once you're confident, you you feel like you've got the process ironed out. Now it's time to move over to the big boy league. Now you go from 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 junior varsity to to you know major leagues. Now we start playing you know NBA now and and, and private rentals, okay? Because that's when you make the bag. It's when you make the most money, and then that's when you have to be about your P's and Q's. You need to make sure you have your policies and procedures in place and know what you're doing, okay? And that's where I come in, where I can help you guys do that, okay? So guys. Potentially, you could make a lot of money. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about finances. How much are you looking to, to how much does it, would it cost you to start something like this? And how much could you potentially make off of running a car rental business, okay? Um, it depends on how big you want to make it be, okay? If you just start off with one car, you can start off with an economy car. Go buy an economy car for three, four thousand dollars $4,000. You're renting this car out making a minimum of $1,000 a month. You're breaking even in three months, okay? Three months, that car's been break, broken even, and everything after that is pure profit. Okay, that's one strategy. I personally, I don't recommend people buying twenty, thirty thousand dollar economy cars. It makes no sense. You're you're renting that car out for the same amount of money as the next person that has a three thousand dollar hoopty. Okay, a lot of the clientele that would rent your economy cars, um, they 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 don't they they won't take perfect care of your car. Okay, so there's no there's no reason to go for lack of a better phrase. You don't. There's no point in giving out. I don't want to give out a car that can make me lose sleep, okay? If I'm running the economy car play, I'm not going to go give out a $30,000 Toyota Camry when I could go buy a 2010 Toyota Camry, a 2011 Toyota Camry, and still make the same amount of money, okay? So let's be smart about our purchases. Make sure you buy it right. If you buy it right, you could break even in a few months. And then after that, once you've broken even, per car, economy car, you're making a minimum of $1,000. That money increases as you get you go up. So if you get if you if you have luxury cars or uh, exotic cars, the potential to earn more money is way higher. However, 
with luxury cars and exotic cars, now you need to do more marketing, okay? Because you have to attract that client base, okay? Um, there's a bigger pool of renters for like your economy cars because those are like your point A to point B type customers. That's all they want a vehicle for. So there's a larger pool of that. So you don't have to do as much marketing, so to speak, with those kind of renters. And they'll take any kind of car you give them as long as it's clean and it works, it's in good condition, they're fine with the car. They'll pay you every week. They're not as picky. You do get more problems with them potentially, um, you know, but um, with the higher end customers, like the higher luxury cars and exotic cars, you obviously need to spend more money investing to go find and attract those customers, okay? I run a lot of ads. I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes to get my phone ringing, okay? It's a little bit more work involved in, in drumming up that business. Um, however, I like that clientele because they take care of your vehicle, okay? They're, it's a certain class of clientele. They, 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 there's a, they treat the vehicles with more pride. You're not going to open up the doors of a Lambo and somebody's got McDonald's all over the place or whatever like that. It's not gonna happen. They're not gonna stain the seats. It rarely happens and when it does happen, they're paying you back for it, okay? So just be mindful of things like that, right? So depending on your strategy and how you guys want to play, okay? So income-wise, if you if you're doing economy cars, once again, like I said, I'm giving you the number for one car. You can make a minimum of a thousand dollars a month. So now it's how big can you scale it? I just spoke to a guy that has 70 economy cars. That's seventy thousand dollars a month he's making. Okay? He just told me he cleared almost half a million a year before. That's that's the potential of this, okay? If you're if you're seeing this through into its entirety, okay, this guy's gone all in on it, okay? This isn't just a hobby for him. He's gone all in, okay? You can make that much or more. Now, if you have a luxury and exotic car on a business, let's see, it even gets higher because these cars rent out for a whole lot more. My Lambo goes out for fourteen hundred a day, okay? Yours goes out for seventeen, eighteen hundred a day. Um. Security deposit amounts on those are much higher too. So we're charging two thousand for a security deposit. A customer as much as just scuffs our rim, we keep the entirety of the security deposit. So now that 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 rim scuff has has earned you potentially almost three four thousand dollars on one rental. Okay, so now you make a whole lot more. So exotics, yes, they cost a lot. There's a higher barrier to entry, which is why I personally like them. Not everybody can get into that niche and compete with me, but you also have higher earning potential. On the flip side, there's also a con to everything, right? Just like with the economy cars, you're dealing with some, you know, certain class of customers. Um, with the luxury cars and the exotic cars, obviously, because of their, their, their expensive, the, the cost of the cars, you're dealing with higher expenses, right? When things happen, it's going to cost more money to fix those cars. Um, uh, they could be out longer because some of these cars, they have to import the parts um, overseas. Um, and so you're dealing with that too. Um, and so those are a few of the nuances that you have to deal with with those cars, right? Um, but otherwise, and then also they're not going to rent like hotcakes. They're not, they're not A to Z cars. These are luxuries, okay? And people don't need Lambos on the weekdays, every single day of the week. Okay, it's very rare. So typically with exotics, yes, you can be guaranteed the car should go out every weekend, but you're not guaranteed the car's going out every weekday. Most people don't drive around every day in Lambo. Okay, it's just not what people do. These cars are cars that tend to like, to, people like to keep garage parking somewhere and they don't put as many miles on them. Okay, so you're not going to get as much business as you'd get with the economy car. However, you can get, if you get a certain number of days out of the month, it's way enough, it's enough days to make make your car payments and make a lot of profit on it too. So they're still very lucrative, okay? Um, and I've had long-term renters with some of these cars too, so that happens a lot too. So um, as you mature and grow in the business and you start getting connected, you will come across people just because, once again, just because you can't fathom why somebody would rent a Lambo for a whole month, guess what people do? And they pay a lot of money. People pay anywhere from 20,000 to 35, 40,000 to rent an exotic car for a month. Okay, it sounds crazy, but people do it every day. Okay, <laughs> um, so those are the, are the the earning potentials of the different classes of vehicles that you guys can get into. Um, so um, another thing people want to know about is insurance. How does that work? All of that. There are commercial insurance policies out there that you guys can get. I cover a lot of that in depth in my vi in a video. There's a video I have on insurance. You guys should watch that. Also, when you jump come into the academy, we cover that a whole lot too and teach you all the entry, uh, all the details about how to maneuver insurance, especially when you get into the higher luxury cars and the exotics. Okay, specific way you have to run the insurance, and we teach that in the program solely okay so you guys should tap into the program so you can get access to that information um 
but once you get these cars you all you need to do is just re pretty much make sure the cars are protected you have trackers in the vehicles and then all you got to do is just do a little bit of marketing put the word out let people know that you have these cars for rent tell friends and family text everybody in your phone list okay um if you're social butterflies everywhere you go let people know that this is what you do and trust me it's a snowball effect people will start to associate you with car rentals and every time they need a car they'll hit you up and then you start to drum up business and before you know it you have a full-fledged car rental company okay so guys i hope this helped i just wanted to give you guys an introduction into car rentals especially this year 2023 look guys the car rental business right now is a 96 billion dollar industry and projected projected to keep going higher and higher and higher so there's never been a better time than now to get into this industry especially since the advent of a lot of these internet-based apps like Turo, hire car get around they have really opened up the doors for people like you and I to get into this industry, okay? Gone are the days where car rentals are reserved for companies like Six Hertz and Enterprise. No, now people like you and I can come into this field and compete. Because a lot of these cars are suffering either going through bankruptcy or COVID shook them up so much that they don't even have enough cars, okay? Because right now supplier cars is really is really low that demand exceeds the supply of these cars so these rental companies don't even have enough cars to fulfill the demand that they have and that's where we also come in we get a lot of that overflow and trust me it's a very big piece of pie that's enough for all of us okay so guys if you are hesitant do not hesitate no more take action today i love to be a part of your journey i love to help you guys you could either book a consultation a paid consultation to talk to me and pick my brain or if you guys are ready to make that leap Tap in with the Academy, book a, uh, book an appointment. Let's talk to you. Let's see if you're a good fit for the mentorship or you can get the course. And I'll see you guys on the other side of success.